uh, rephrase the question for the viewers because this is an important one. We're approaching Ramadan. Four, nine days left. Till Ramadan, mashallah. A lot of people are getting ready to calculate the zakah and to uh, check out the zakah recipients and so on. Can I pay all my zakah to one person who is desperately in need and the zakah would barely be sufficient for him and the family? Yes, it is permissible. Can I distribute and scatter my zakah among too many people? Yes, it is permissible. In some cases, like we have a family, the sister of Fatima says, a uh, sister is raising plenty of children and they're extremely poor. We're helping her from the zakah fund or from the volunteer charity. charity. How long do we have to continue? Well, as long as they're in need. And you recognize that they are in need, they are not wasteful, they are not taking advantage of the charity that is given to them by people and being lousy. So the kids are young, they go to school, they cannot work on their own, they are underage, and she's a single parent. What difference would it make if I give her the zakah or I look for somebody else in another neighborhood or overseas? She's eligible, then continue giving her the zakah. We perceive this case as a gift that Allah is giving us. And under any circumstances, one should not think that I'm doing this family a favor. As MashaAllah in the beginning he said, thank you Shaykh for what you're doing for the Ummah. I've never ever considered that I'm doing anything for the Ummah. And yesterday and before yesterday, myself and my wife and my kids, we get together and we speak about the great bounty of Allah upon me and upon us to choose me and my family to do this. So it is the Ummah which is doing to me. It is you, Um Fatima, and Abdul Aziz, and Maryam from the USA, and Um Amatullah, and Mikael from the Philippines, Isa from the UK, uh, Morris uh, from uh, Sierra Leone. It's you, brothers and sisters, who are giving me the honor and sparing some time to listen to me and to listen to my answers. I'm doing my best to only present the answer from the Qur'an and the Sunnah, not my personal views, but for you to spare some time and to sit on daily basis for an hour to listen to me, you jazakumullah khayran. What am I doing? Nothing. I used to have hundreds of colleagues who studied in the same classroom in Al-Azhar. We studied uh, in the uh, postgraduate education, in the masters, in the PhD. When Allah chooses one, and says, you are going to present the deen in this platform. Thank you, Allah. Thank you so much for giving me this honor. And thanks to the viewers who are sitting and watching. This is how it is. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired me one day and guided me to an orphan's family, the father died and they were all young, six kids or seven kids. And he was a teacher. So his retirement was less than $50 a month. Okay, and I don't know how the sister was raising them. MashaAllah, she made them all memorize the whole Quran. And in the different levels of education, uh, elementary, middle, high school, and some been to university now, they are either the first or the second or the third. So they excelled in education too. It's an honor that Allah have drove to me to guide me to this family. So if I end up giving them 50% of my zakah, in addition to the voluntary charity, I never ask for how long I would continue or keep uh, providing for them. Oops, I'm not providing for them. I'm not even providing for myself. Oh, okay, I mean assisting them. I'm not assisting them. I'm doing my homework. There is zakah in my wealth because Allah gave me plenty. So I have to take just a little bit, rubble al ushr 2.5%. And I'm going to distribute it or dispense it anyway to this person or that person or persons. And I found an eligible family. So the question of until when is out of the question. As long as they are in need. MashaAllah, one of them grew up and now he's working and providing for the family. Excellent. Let's look for another family and so on. Wa ta'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa. Wa ta'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa. Assalamu alaikum.